From the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Jed Castles. That, Jed, uh, that's, I, still, that's still way too close. Yeah, I was working the crowd the other day. I said, come on, you put, put that $10 <laughs> in the evening team, right? Oh, boy, that a guy that, that he gave a, a $20 bill to David Payne when we were at the fair Good. yesterday. You know where David put that. He didn't put he it He gave it to David? He gave it to oh, David. Oh, my don't do gosh. That. Don't do that. So... Mm. In yeah, so it's, uh, it's pretty close, but we're hoping for the best on that evening team getting to kiss the pig. We want Colby and Carl to kiss that pig. Those guys would love to do that, I'm sure. Hey, let's talk about the big temperature change coming away. Look at this big pattern change. 50s and 40s covering much of the northern uh, central parts of the country. That's this uh, fall air that's just sitting up here. Now, we'll have a little blast of this roll down into Oklahoma today, but it's not going to last. It'll get cut off and the cooler air stays up toward north. Then a second front comes in about um, Saturday night, Sunday morning. That'll bring more of a refreshing fall feel and that'll bring and pull a lot of this air down our way and brings more of a classic fall pattern back to Oklahoma. So we'll be going up and down a little bit here the next couple of days, but fall and fall air is soon on the way. We'll show you that on the nine day here in just a little bit. So the front is through. North winds have taken over. Do see some rain running from Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas, uh, moving over into Missouri. So this is just toward north. You can see there are a few little dotting showers there up along the Oklahoma uh, border there. So a few little spotty showers possible here. Those will roll on through this morning. So there's a chance for a little bit of rain. But as far as the rainfall mounts go, we had a little rain out the panhandle. Most locations there. Low rainfall totals for the most part were pretty low, but uh, if you get any rain up here in the northern part of the state, that'll be possible. Looks kind of spotty in nature. A few spotty showers around, and that'll be possible. May extend on into parts of western Oklahoma for a while this morning, but the general trend, this rain will shift off to the north and the east before coming to an end here later today. Sun comes up just after 7 o'clock now, 73 this morning. North winds at 13 miles per hour. So the real cool air is yet, really yet to make its way in. We'll keep coming down a bit. We'll drop it to about 69 by 8 o'clock this morning before we start to warm it back up. 72 at 10, 77 at noon. And going into the afternoon, we're going to get up into the low 80s today. So cooler than yesterday where we had a record high of 97 degrees. We tied a record high yesterday. So cooler today in the 80s, so more of a milder forecast. As north to northeast winds, they'll be up about 10 to 20 miles per hour today. Allergy index still pushing the pedal to near the floor. We got the trees, grasses, weeds all causing problems. Most sports have relaxed just a little in the moderate category, but feeling allergies, good reason for that. 50 is out in the panhandle. 60s, 70s cover the rest of us. A little warmer in southeast Oklahoma, where still a few spots are near 80 right now. The air moving into northwest Oklahoma, much cooler, much cooler than yesterday by about 20 degrees out toward Beaver, where temperatures again are about 55 right now out toward Beaver. That cooler air will keep sliding in to northwest Oklahoma and across northern Oklahoma today. So some pleasant feeling temperatures here across Oklahoma. While weather's cooling off, the tropics heating up. There is Fiona right there, massive Category 4 hurricane. Lifting north, this storm will stay out to sea as it moves toward the north and east. But we are seeing another storm right down here. It's kind of hugging the uh, uh, South America coast, right along the coastal area there. That is expected to develop. And as watch the different computer models tracking it. It's going to roll across the Caribbean. And by about Tuesday, it'll make its way to the Yucatan. And then after that, where it goes, still a bit in question. But there are signs that could move up toward the U.S. coastline by late next week. So we'll be watching that. There's your temperatures, 50s, 60s across Kansas. We'll be in the 90s down in Texas. So wide range of temperatures coming up for today. Hotter tomorrow. Those 80s and 90s making a return. And it'll be hot into Saturday before that heat has a chance to come back down a bit as the next cool front arrives coming in here on Sunday. And that'll start the trend for some cooler temperatures. Lows tonight, how about that? Looks good. 50s, some 60s on the way. So some pleasant temperatures there as we check out your temperatures here the next nine days. That's looking a lot more like fall. Fall officially arrives today, and we're expecting to see uh, the temperatures zoom back up, feeling a bit like summer, 95 on Saturday, before more of a fall pattern setting up into next week.